I'm Will, I'm the Bull Book Geek, and hello from Derby Book Festival. So, first things first, I want to talk about commemorating D-Day. This was a last minute addition to the events that we saw, and I'm going to read a little bit of info. So, 75 years ago, on 6th of June, 1944, the greatest seaborne invasion took place. D-Day saw an epic battle involving 156,000 uh, 156, men, 7,000 ships, and 20,000 armoured vehicles. So the first talker was uh, Giles Milton, who has a book of non-fiction and called D-Day. The Soldier's Story, which is soldiers' stories from both sides of the coin. So, different soldiers, different groups, be them German, be them English, be them Indian, be them whatever. And the second talker was Bowie Ray, who has published a book, Now or Never, a Dunkirk Story. And it talked about the Indian soldiers of... The event, and also um, we had a guest in the audience, a gentleman who, a very elderly gentleman who had also published a book called Mountain uh, Himalayan Mountain Men. So I am definitely on the lookout for that. We also had music from a singer called Jane Darling, who was phenomenal, and she did. She does sort of retro music and songs of the world wars and jazz standards. Beautiful voice. And we also had a fantastic dancer on stage. Nisha, I'm not going to butcher her last name because I don't want to, but Nisha. Um, I'm going to put a link to, their, to the, her Instagram down below. And I'm going to put a link to Jane's as well. It was a phenomenal performance. It was two talkers, uh, two speakers on stage with the interlude, and they were completely different speakers. They were completely different personalities, and although they all tied together brilliantly and in the best way possible, it worked. And it just was eye-opening, and it talks about things that maybe are forgotten little moments in history. The signings were brilliant. They, like most of the book festival events, they come out. You can buy the book there from Waterstones. And the signings go on. And I managed to get my book signed, which was really cool. Um, and overall, it was a spectacular, spectacular event. And I'm so glad that I went to it because I almost... It was one that we didn't intend to go to originally but then it just kind of happened there were tickets available and we went and the Derby Theatre as a venue which is in the shopping centre the Into but you know what the venue is spectacular in its own right and <laughs> you you'll see pictures of it as I'm talking so that's so, you know it's one of those venues the second event we went to was Melvin Bragg he's a broadcaster and an author, and he has also been at the forefront of the arts, culture, and academic discussion for nearly 60 years. He started his career as a BBC trainee, and he has worked on many groundbreaking programmes, most prominently as an editor and presenter of the South Bank Show and for Radio, B uh, for Radio 4's It's Our Time and the Start of the Week. He talked about his new book, um, a novel called Love Without End, and it's a retelling of a fantastic little, well, an epic love story that was, well, it's based on history, so he fictionalised elements of history, and it's, I'm halfway into this novel, and I have to say it's thought-provoking. It's one of those great love stories and it's an epic love story but it's set against a very weird and dark time in around the 1100s in France particularly Paris him as a talker my god he is good he is 
eloquent and switched on funny and we were in danger of overrunning. He is one of those people that you can watch and watch and watch and it's just fantastic. You could listen to him talk for the entire evening. Again, that was in the Derby Theatre with a great audience, great atmosphere and I always say the people that that are Derby, you know, the the volunteers and fantastic Liz herself. It's extremely hard work, and they are fantastic. And I know, I know, I keep using that word. I'm sorry, but I have to say this has topped last year's book festival. I mean, so far it's been amazing, and I can't wait for more. So I'm just going to leave this here. I'm Will. I'm the Bold Book Geek, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.